Hi and welcome. Today I just wanted to show you how you can download and install The Sims 4 if you're migrating to Linux like I did. If you're tired of Microsoft and Windows, I myself took a long time to migrate to Linux despite wanting to for like years because I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to run The Sims 4. It's one of the only games I play and I was afraid it wasn't gonna run so I took a long time to switch but then my computer doesn't support Windows 11 and Windows 10 is coming to an end so I I had to switch I just I just had to and I decided to learn how to do it and then it worked and then I'm just trying to help other people in case in case you're not migrating because of the sims 4 like I did it's actually quite easy but there is a catch you need extra ram because alongside with the sims 4 you're going to be running on the background a software that kind of translates the game since you need that program that software running in the background it's going to take a little bit more RAM. The thing is you need a little bit extra RAM to run The Sims 4 on Windows. But other than that, it's going to run perfectly fine. Also, this tutorial is for the people who have the Origin version. I don't know how it works in the Steam version. I believe it works as well, but I'm not sure. So, I don't know how you do it if you have the Steam version of the game. But if you have the Origin version, then this is how it goes. So the first thing you need is Lutris, which is this program right here. It is, as you can see, it plays all your games in Linux. It doesn't work for every game, of course, but it works for many of them. And most Linux distros have kind of a software store like like you have in in your phone like an app store or something and here in Bazaar it is this one it's called Bazaar Bazaar I don't know I don't know uh, my system is in Portuguese so just yeah anyway if you don't have this software store or something like a software store you can Go to latrice.net, click download, and then you can see instructions for different distros. Some you may need to enter the terminal, and it's not that scary at all, I swear. But most there there is a store. So for example, here at Fedora it says it's available in the official repositories and it says for you to do this in the terminal, but you don't need to do this because if you have Fedora, like the Fedora workstation, it already has a kind of a store like this and you don't need to download Lutris like this, but it depends, it really depends on your on your distro, but anyway, most of the beginner-friendly distros have a software store. If you end up needing it, then there are download instructions here. Yeah, so now you already have Lutris installed. I mean, if you did everything correctly, you already have Lutris installed. And the first thing you're going to do is to get EA app installed on Lutris, because Lutris actually is just a launcher. It's, it's not the thing that does the magic. The thing that does the magic that translates, or translates your system to kind of make the game think it's running on Windows. It's another thing called Wine, and it comes installed with Lutris, so you don't need to install it separately. You just install Lutris and it's going to work. And sometimes when you download Lutris, it already shows here like EA app, and you can just click to install here. I don't know why it isn't showing here, but you can just 
come to letteries.net and search EA app. Then it's not supposed to take that long. I think my internet connection is terrible. But anyways, you click install and it's going to ask if you if you want to open Lutris and you do. So you click OK, open. So I think my internet connection is really terrible right now because it took a long time to just open this. And that's what's going to open when you click install here, okay? That's that's what's going to open. It, it just says wine standard and you just click install. Like I said, my system is in Portuguese, so it's going to look different on your system. Probably it's going to be in your language, but yeah, you just... You select a directory to to download it, then you click continue, then it's going to download some things that need that that are needed. Uh and you can see here wine, that's what I said. It's it's the thing that does the trick actually that makes the game run. It's wine. And yeah, it's going to download And as soon as it's done, I'm going to show you what else you need to do. So here we are again. It's saying download and... It... Oh, yeah, I see what's happening, sorry. Uh, it's the executable for EA app. Uh, it's asking for the source if you want to download it from this URL. Or if you already have the, the installer on your computer if you already downloaded it for some reason then you can select the file uh, in your system but since i don't have it i'm just going to download which is the first option like i said in your system it's supposed to be in your language and just click install and then it's going to look like something is going wrong i mean there is this abort button there is going to appear something here that is a lot a lot of numbers and words and things and it looks like it's it looks like there's something wrong but there isn't okay it's just how it goes that's it's just life it's just computer computing and you don't need to worry it usually usually goes well i never had any problems so i hope i don't have one now because it's gonna be so funny if I run into an issue right now when I'm downloading just to show when I've done this multiple times and I never had any problem so yeah but I think it's gonna be fine a few moments later so this is not actually an error it's just another thing that you need to install and it, it just pops up it's just something saying that it needs it couldn't find a package called Gecko and it's needed for apps that run with HTML. It's needed for them to work properly, so you just click install and it's going to download. And it sounds like a lot, but honestly, it's just... It, it is what it is. <laughs> it's easier on Windows, I know, but it's still possible. And bam, would you look at that? It's like, it's, it's installing. Yay. Yay! Yeah, it's gonna take some time. But it's fine. We're patient. I'll be back when something happens. And then when it's finished, it just, it just closes itself and it says, installation complete and that's it and then there is this close button and then there is this start button and you click whichever you want so this is what it looks like when you have only lotteries open you just have to select it and click play it means play i don't know if it's written play in in english in the english version of lotteries but i think maybe it's written start i'm not sure but it's the only button here besides the the wine glass one, so <laughs> you just click it and yeah, the, the app is here. It's 
it's working. You just need to log in. And then when you log in, everything from now on is exactly the same as if you're on a Windows PC or a Mac. I, I don't know if it's the same on the Mac. But yeah, if you're on a Windows PC, it's, it's exactly the same. You're going to log in and then you're going to download the game. And then every time you need to, every time you're going to play the game, you need to open the EA app, which is, it's kind of the launcher of the game. So you'll have to open it just like it is on Windows. So here it is. Here is the EA app when I'm logged in. And then you can just, like I said, it's exactly the same as Windows. So you just, you just download the game as if you were on Windows. It's going to be exactly the same. And you then when you want to play the game you just click play in case you're wondering where do i put my mods where is the mods folder it's going to be the same as in windows so you're going to be in your home folder which is home slash your username it's going to be under documents electronic arts the sims 4 mods and yeah you you just put your mods there and it's going to uh, ah, what did i do and it's going to work so I'm going to hit play and then we're gonna play it a little so you see it works just fine exactly as I said it's, it's exactly the same as if you were on Windows. There is the catch that you need extra RAM. You need extra RAM because more than just running the game your PC is also going to be running Wine which takes a little bit of RAM. So You're gonna need extra RAM, so if you need, if you have all the DLCs, etc., you already need lots of RAM, and you're going to need a little bit more to play it. So it took a little bit longer than usual, but I think it is because I'm recording as well, so it's going to take up more resources of my computer and it's going to take longer to process everything but yeah here it is it's it's the game it's working yay, yay! just as it's intended to work i mean the sims 4 never works as it is intended to work but, but you know you know it works Oh yeah, right, before I forget, also when you're done playing, EA app tends to, when you close the game, EA app tends to keep running here on the tray and there is no need to do that because, I mean, you're going to be running Wine every time the EA app is open, Wine is running on the background of your PC and when you're not playing, I don't think it's needed, so just it's going to show here like stop it's going to instead of play it's going to show stop then you click stop and it's going to close the ea app there's no need to keep it open if you're not actively playing so yeah that's it 